Hello, I'm Duncan here. Hello, everyone. So today we will be tasting the Bushmills. As I told you in the last video I made, uh, the Bushmills I had a lot when I was younger. Uh, not this particular one that we're having today. But um, yeah, I really liked it when I was younger. The Bushmills, the single malt whiskey from Ireland. Here it is. It's 40% alcohol and it costs around 750 Danish crowns for a full liter. That is around 75 English pounds and maybe 90 or 95 American dollars, something like that, give or take a little bit. It is unfortunately chill filtered, it is unfortunately artificially colored, so there is E150 uh, caramel stuff in it. Um, it has matured its entire time. Uh, in sherry cask, I couldn't find anywhere how long that is actually this particular one This is the Bushmills steamship sherry cask The reason why they call this one the steamship is because it's made uh, to celebrate the 125th year anniversary of the maiden voyager of SS Bushmills I guess that was some kind of steamship back in the day. I couldn't really find any more uh, history about that particular ship but yeah there you go so it's been matured in sherry casks and again as I said I don't know for how long um, I really look forward to this as I've tasted well how many different Bushmills I think six different ones the 10 year old, the 16 year old, the 21 year old, and also um, it's called the Black Bush, I think it is, and, and another one which is uh, where there's a lot of honey in it. So maybe it's just called the honey one, I don't know. So yeah, a little bit of history, a little bit of uh, research about the whiskey and the distillery. Oh, I also find found somewhere one place where they said that the Bushmill was the oldest Irish distillery. I could only find that one place, so... Well, I'm not entirely sure that that's correct. So, yeah, but now for the important stuff, uh, the tasting. Um, in this video, there's no sponsored content. I bought all of this myself. And as always, everything on this channel is just my opinion. So, uh, and if you think something else, have another opinion, that's just fine. Um, now look at this, let's look at this little beautiful dram. Mm. There's definitely sherry. But it's really light and the entire aroma and nose is really light. Which suggests to me that it's young. Because it hasn't really had the time to take the flavors from the wood and the sherry and the cask itself. So that's what it's telling me. So maybe 750 Danish crowns is overpriced. And it's just because it's an anniversary uh, bottling that makes it this expensive. Really, not a lot of depth, really shallow, if you can, really simple is probably the right word. Really light flavors of uh, a little bit of oakiness, mostly sherry and a bit of vanilla. So, yeah, let's taste this. Skål. Oh, skål is cheers in Danish. Um, in Scotland, they say Islande, I think that's what they say. There's also a word more. I like Skål Billa because because it's better because it's Danish and I'm Danish. So, and um, yeah, I just like that better. Sherry, a little bit of sherry, some oakiness, a little bit of sweetness and vanilla, 
Oh, and also a little bit of honey, actually. Maybe it's it's that caramel E150. That caramel thing that does that. And oakiness. Some, a little bit of spices at the end. But very simple and very... Um, and young. Yeah, I can... I'm absolutely sure that this is a young whiskey. And when I say young, I'm... It's pr I don't know, I couldn't guess, but less than 10 years and probably less than eight years too. Maybe five, four years old, which is just a wild guess, but it's definitely young. A little bit of, a little bit boring. Right now there's almost no, no nose to it, no smell, but it's the same flavors, sherry, vanilla, and oak. Yeah, as I said before, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of honey, sherry, oak, and spices. But just little hints of those flavors, and they're already almost gone. Now there's just a little bit of oakiness and spices. Really, not a bottle that I would ever buy again. Um, so... Yeah, kind of disappointed, actually, and uh, for 750 Danish crowns, uh, that's way too expensive for this kind of whiskey. So, um, for me, well, it's not that it tastes bad or it's 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 anything like that. Um, it's just not worth that amount of money. And um, for somebody like me that drinks a lot of whiskey and rum and beer, uh, this is just too simple. Uh, there's no complexity, there's, there's no depth, there's no surprise, there's nothing new. Um, so, yeah. The taste alone is probably a 4, but because of the uh, high price, I think this is a high price. When I pay 750 Danish crowns for something, I want it to, um, to be special. And this one is not at all. Um, if it was half priced fine it's not so for me this is a three uh very disappointing actually so for me the bushmill steamship sherry cask is a three too bad um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you don't give it a thumbs down that's fine too if you have any comments or questions leave a comment down below saying asking writing whatever you want to write i will respond to all comments and all questions. If you want to see more videos like this, please give me a subscribe and hit that bell button. That would mean, really mean a lot to me if you could help me grow this channel just a little bit. And uh, as always, please go check out my Instagram at stonegarden underscore. And there's a lot of small video clips and pictures of uh, beers, rum, whiskey, workout videos, and uh, also beard stuff so of course there is if you like what you see there please give me a follow there it would really mean a lot to me if you could help me grow my instagram account also so there you have it a little bit of a disappointment um but that's how it is sometimes you can't really always win with these whiskey there's so many different things if if you're new to whiskey it's probably an easy starter but if you're new to whiskey you don't want to spend 750 danish crowns so I don't really see a market for this, um, so yeah, that's it. Only if you're a really collector and really, really into Bushmills, it, you would just have that bottle on your shelf and probably never open it. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and uh, hope you watch my videos in future. And uh, if you want to see some of the older videos, please go check them out too. That would really mean a lot. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.